We're more than a year out from the first people who got vaccinated against COVID, and we still have not seen any long-term effects from them. The real risks that we've been hearing about the inflammation of the heart and the blood clots that are possible have happened in a tiny fraction of people who have gotten the COVID vaccine. And when you look at the risk of what COVID does to you and the risks of dying, which are much greater than that, a tiny risk from the vaccine is certainly something that you wanna overcome. Get the vaccine, keep yourself safe from COVID. There is no risk to fertility in men and women who have received the vaccine. We have studies in men that shows that after they received the mRNA vaccine, the quality of the sperm, the volume, the count, the total count, the motility was the same before and after the vaccine. The same thing for women. There has been no decrease in their fertility, in their ovarian function, in ovarian reserve, and of course, even with conception and implantation of the baby, there was no decrease from the vaccine. The vaccine does not have any effect on your DNA. It uses something that's called messenger RNA or mRNA. Two of the three vaccines use that. Basically, it allows your body to create the hallmark spike protein to make sure that your body knows how to respond to it. Once your body does that immune response, then it's completely gone from your system. It doesn't change you at all. So young and healthy and feeling like you can fight off anything. Well, unfortunately, some of the folks in our intensive care units thought that as well everyone needs to get vaccinated. With the new Delta variant, we're seeing younger and younger people ending up in our hospitals and even dying. And unfortunately, we're also seeing something called long COVID. And what that is, is people who even weren't sick enough to come into the hospital, might have just recovered at home, are having symptoms 28 days, even out to a year. So this is something that you can prevent with the vaccine. The mRNA vaccines have been used in the past. So the template or the platforms have been in existence before COVID. All the steps to get this vaccine to us were maintained. There was rigorous science and the methodology wasn't changed. And just to add, over 4 billion people in the world have received the vaccine as of today. We know that no vaccine is 100% effective. These vaccines are remarkably effective at protecting us against 95% of cases of COVID. We know that it protects against the vast majority of hospitalizations. Also, if you do get a breakthrough infection, what we're finding is that people may have a few days to a week of symptoms, but they're certainly not going to go into that second week of worsening symptoms that we see in people who are unvaccinated.